Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's session will be more specific to business or power users because I would be telling you how you can convert your files into PDF and protect that file. So probably if you're a team member of a HR team where you would like to protect the, the appointment or offer letters of employee with passwords uh, based on the information, employee's information detail. So you probably can do that. And if you're a part of sales team and you would like to build some sales proposal PDFs and would like to have them password protected. So this is the right video to watch. So I have just uh, went to my this flow and in Power Automate, I'll be just creating one instant cloud flow. And as I said, I'll be converting the document with PDF to PDF and uh, protect them with password. So I'll be using this one document library. So let me just clean that up quickly. So I'll be dropping the document over here in this library and that should be automatically converted to PDF and a password should be assigned to it. So if we, if you would like to do that for a SharePoint list, you can also do that. So it's a document library, which I'm picking right now. So the trigger would be when file is created. So in one of my video, I have already explained you how you can convert the PDF. But uh, if you are directly watching this video, then also like it would be fine for you to just uh, know all the steps. So I'm picking up my site address and my library so my library is stocks for pdf conversion and in the next step i'll be choosing the adobe pdf converter so i'll be just using adobe pdf services and over here you have, you can just uh, scroll down you can say convert documents to pdf so now if you are using this connector for the first time then you would be popped up with one screen and that screen would be like this so it's a connection name and client id so you can just simply go to this adobe get started site over here and you can just simply register yourself it's a free service altogether so nothing is there so you need to just sign up and then sign in and once you're signed in it will give you the all these required details so it's it's a very simple step all the client id organization id it will give you so after filling that one, when you click on this create, so it will create a connection to this Adobe PDF service. So right now, because I already have this connection in place. So this is my connection, the same connection where I've already put down the app ID in the client secret. So this connection I would be using. Under the file name, you can just pick the file name from this created file. So you can say like file name encode, encoded and file content. This content so this is the file content which we would be using so now this will convert your word document or image file like whatever you would be putting in the first step to pdf but in second step we would like to protect it with password so you can again search for adobe pdf service and you can simply find the action that is uh, protect pdf from viewing so there are other couple of actions also, like if you wish to implement those, that is protect, protect PDF from copying and editing. So you can have that in place. So this one is simple one. So where like uh, this is a password protected PDF, it will generate. So file name, you can just pick the file name from the previous tab that in the dynamic content, PDF file name. Password, you can just pick the password. So based on, so as I said, like if you are working with SharePoint list and probably if it's employee name, then you can just have a combination of employee name or their date of birth, sort of that, so that it can directly, they can directly use it uh, while opening this PDF. So as part of mail communication, you can send that a password, for example, like first letters of, uh, first four letter of your name and then your date of birth, sort of that. So right now, because this is just a demo, so I'm just putting the password as ABC123. So hard coded one, you can just make that as a as a combination. And probably if it's a it's a proposal for some company, some client name, then you can just have client ID or something like that in the password. So in the file content, I'll be choosing PDF file content. 
and in the next tab because now this PDF is created I have to create this file so I'll just say create file in my SharePoint because I'm just converting and uploading this file so you can directly mail also this file so for demo sake I'm just converting it and saving it to a SharePoint document library so this is my converted PDF library and now I'll be using the PDF file name from my this protect PDF from viewing action the previous one the file content this one so when I save it it should be saved all right so we get this uh, one create file action because uh, we are triggering a flow on a file and again like we're creating file so this flow is detecting one warning so you should be taking care of this so the file should not be going back to the same library because we are creating this file in a different folder path so we could so i'm just leaving there as is and i'll just rename it protect pdf flow and saving it back so now I'll just drop that file to this my docs to PDF conversion and we'll wait for that flow to trigger. Okay, so our flow is running. Let me refresh it again and go inside it. Okay, so it's protecting that file. Okay, so it ran successfully. So we can just go to our SharePoint and find out that converted file. So now you can see we have it, this was a file which created few seconds before if I just click on this okay so it's giving me password so that means it's a password protected file the password we gave was that so now it should open so now this file is open okay so we are good so that's how this uh, demo concludes like we can protect any of our dropped file with a specific password. I hope you find it useful and if you do then please do subscribe and drop your comments. Thank you.